-hmm. And joining me now in studio are two gentlemen from a company called Hydrogen Hybrid Corporation, stock symbols HYDB. Our first guest is Mr. Daniel Hoffman. He's the president of the company. Daniel, welcome to the program. Thank you. And Mr. Ken Owen is the chief executive officer of Hydrogen Hybrid Corporation. Ken, good to see you again. Nice to be here, Don. Now, Ken, uh, Hydrogen Hybrid Corporation, uh, kind of a self-description name, describes itself as a company that's building and distributing something called a hydrogen as-needed system for large semi-trucks as well as smaller gas and diesel applications. Uh, can you give us a general overview? What we've done is we've been able to produce a product from small vehicles to semi-trucks, as you covered here, that will actually run off a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen that is actually made in the vehicle. And we started out basically as a working with a two-liter vehicle, and now we've able to we've been able to go all the way up to now a semi truck with the help of Daniel here. Uh, we've got a product that really there's nobody to, that can contend with us in this space, and we're very happy to be able to get this product to the market in the time frame that we have, as you're going to see in a little bit here. Okay, now uh, Daniel, uh, the product again is called the hydrogen as needed system. According to your reports, uh, can increase a vehicle's fuel efficiency like 30 to 100 uh, percent. Tell us about that. Yes, absolutely. Uh, basically, we simply extract hydrogen and oxygen from water. Uh, we, we do that by electrolysis. Um, electrolysis, if, you use, if you're using conventional electrolysis, um, and you're getting anywhere from like uh, one liter per minute, Two liters per minute uh, is is, is going to help lower emissions uh, and give a a a slight increase as far as fuel mileage. Where the system comes in and why it's so different is because not only do we use hydrogen and oxygen injection into the engine, but we also use a vaporization method. For instance, uh, <coughs> gasoline has uh, uh, about 26,000 BTU energy. So what that means is that's per gallon. Mm -hmm. For a cylinder, if you have a cylinder where your pistons go up and down, okay, if you took and poured liquid into this cylinder, it's just going to puddle, mm -hmm. okay, and your fuel droplets are going to burn from the outside in. Okay. What we do is not, not only do we fill the chambers up using vaporized fuel, because we can get about 1,860 liters out of one liter of liquid fuel, 1,860 liters of gas. Wow. So not only are we maximizing fuel, but we're also maximizing fuel economy inside of the engine because we're vaporizing fuel. And we are supplementing it. That means giving it much more BTU or atomic energy inside of that combustion chamber. So what does that mean? That means you're getting more bang for your buck. Why is that important right now? Because we, as a, as a, nation, as a nation, being dependent on foreign oil, uh, we need to find a way to maximize our fuel economy while we are developing alternative methods where we can replace fossil fuels. So basically, with this system, so we can break it down for you, how do we do that? We use hydrogen and, and oxygen injection combined with vaporized fuel to go into the engine and more as a gas mm -hmm. than an actual liquid. Okay. I guess we're announcing it on this program. Uh, this is pretty significant for your company. Tell us about that. Well, at this time, uh, I only found, about, found out about this just recently. So Daniel brought it to the attention today. been in the works, and we're hoping in the next 7 to 14 days, the executive order will be in place, and there it opens up a world of opportunity for us because the product will actually be taking orders for it immediately. And I got it, you know, Daniel's been hard at work at this, so we're excited because most people have no idea what it takes to get to this point. That executive order will produce thousands of orders immediately. Well, let's look at a demonstration that we shot just a few minutes ago. Uh, you're going to actually show us some uh, hydrogen uh, being produced. Uh, let's take a look at that right now, and I'll have you tell us what we're looking at. Okay, so here we are. Now, this is installed on a Ford F-250. Of course, they brought the uh, apparatus out on the bumper so we can take a look at it. Uh, Ken, tell us what we're looking at. We're looking at a diesel truck F-250, and it's actually producing hydrogen. And if you look at the time clock here, we're able to produce the mixture here. and about 30 seconds, or no, about 25 seconds, you'll see this whole container, which is one liter, 
empty. So this cell is able to produce approximately three liters a minute. And if you look to the left-hand side, that's hydrogen going in the other unit. Okay. We, put, we put a timer on this just so everybody understands what is going on here, that there's no myth here. This actually is it working. So 24 seconds, you produced a whole liter of hydrogen. Right. And then the, you'll see the amperage use on this. There was a, a draw of about 13 amps to produce this. That's and, amazing. And then if you look at the front, you'll see the cell down in the front of the bumper. That is just amazing. All that right. is just amazing. They're going to get and a close-up here. 13 there's like amps. 13 amps of draw on this. And then wow. uh, you, get, you can see in the front of the truck, you're going to see the uh, actual cell itself. Okay. All right. So it gives you an idea. We're, you know, the big thing here, Don, is making sure people understand we're here to prove it. It's not talk about it. We've done it. Okay. Now, I know you announced recently that the company, in its first round of testing, actually exceeded your expectations. Isn't that correct? Yes. <laughs> it's been a process to get here. We've actually done a lot of uh, different test models and everything else. We produced this last product that you see working here today, and we went from lowering the amperage, producing more hydrogen, and doing it in basically what most people couldn't imagine being done. Daniel's been at this for years, and we're, we're learning a lot that other people said would work, didn't work. We started out at the very beginning of this, and half of what people told us wasn't correct. Their wow. software's needed for the vehicle. You have to be able to draw less amperage so the product doesn't get hot. There's a lot more than people realize go into this and meet the standards, make the product safe, and the things that we've covered here. And we're here today to actually demonstrate it. So uh, basically, this is a retrofit product. Uh, as you said, it's applicable to just about any vehicle, from a semi down to a small vehicle. Uh, where can people buy this? I mean, I'm, I imagine people seeing this and saying, yeah, I want 30 to 100% better efficiency. You can go to the website and check us out. At, you can go to hydbusa.com and put a call into the office, the phone number's there, okay. and talk to one of the representatives. We're extremely busy, so be patient if you have to go into voicemail and call back. We've uh, been overwhelmed with the project. Again, it's Hy Hydrogen Hybrid Corporation, HYDB is the stock symbol, HYDB uh, USA, you said? Yes, USA. Uh, HYDBUSA.com is their website if you'd like more information. Uh, Ken, uh, why is this a good time uh, right now to take a closer look at this company? Well, I think everybody knows right now the price of fuel is not going to stay down. Right. It's going to go back up. Uh, we are very conscious about the environment. The product really reduces emissions, and so we're friendly in uh, not only reducing gas or increasing gas mileage, but reducing emissions. And we all know, you know, what's taking place today. That's a necessity. Uh, we've our stock is trading, as everybody can see it. I think today it's about dollar thirty a share, dollar forty, and it seems to be picking up every single day as the exposure gets out there. People want this product on. The Port of LA needs it. And you can see by the press, the nation, we've had interest from China, around the world, people flying to our office. You can't even imagine what's wow. taking place here. And they'll have not only the small end, all the way to the semi-product line, or the uh, Class 8 truck, to fulfill motorhome needs. Uh, you're talking about boats and marinas. I could go on and on Amazing. the demand for this. LA has $7 billion available for retrofitting from diesel plants to everything else. Exciting. Yes. Again, Hydrogen Hybrid Corporation, HYDB. Uh, we're initiating coverage of the company, Ken. We're watching you very closely through the first quarter of 2009. Uh, looking forward to more updates from you gentlemen. Uh, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.